Layer Zero is one of the most innovative pieces of interoperability technology to come out in crypto this year, and there is a lot of speculation that they'll be launching a token and doing an airdrop soon. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi, my name is Patrick, and in today's video I'll show you exactly how you can best position yourself to receive a potential Layer Zero airdrop. Be sure to stick around until the end of this video because I have a special giveaway of nine checklists on how to receive nine potential airdrops. As always, nothing I say in this video is financial advice. This is speculation because we're talking about a potential airdrop. With that being said, let's get into it. First, a quick refresher on what exactly Layer Zero is. It's a low-level communication primitive that allows you to build applications that seamlessly work between different blockchains. So for example, you might have an asset on Arbitrum and an asset on Ethereum or an asset on Ethereum and Avalanche, and you swap from one to the other, and your swap is as seamless as if they were on the same chain. So all everything had to do with different chains and bridging between chains could happen in the background, and it would happen, importantly, in a way that was secure, in a way that was cheap, and in a way that was fast. And the challenge in the past has been that many bridges are hacked, and the ones that are more secure typically are built in a way that is more expensive or that takes more time. And without getting into all of the technical details, Layer Zero does this basically by combining security from a relayer and an oracle where they would both have to collaborate in order to create a fraudulent transaction. I have a more detailed video on Layer Zero that I put out right when it launched earlier this year, and I'll link to that video down in the description. And this is all great, but why exactly do we think that there's a Layer Zero airdrop? One of the main reasons is that if you go to Layer Zero's developer documents, then you actually see references to a ZRO token. So you can see here they have this ZRO payment address, which seems to indicate that you may be able to pay for the transaction in ZRO or maybe get some sort of discounts if you hold ZRO. And so that has people thinking, well, that means at some point they are probably planning to launch a ZRO token. And the reason why this is probably going to be so valuable, aside from the fact that it's innovative, is if you look at the funds that are invested in Layer Zero, it is a who's who of some of the top funds in cryptocurrency. You have Coinbase Ventures, you have Polygon, you have Binance Labs, you have Multicoin Capital, you have Uniswap Labs, you have A16Z, and the list just goes on and on and on. You have Animoca. And so these are some of the top funds in crypto. And then you have some of the top developers in crypto like Zero X Maki, who was previously closely involved with SushiSwap that are on the Layer Zero team. So a lot of brain power and financial power behind this protocol. Now let's talk about exactly how you can position yourself to get this Layer Zero airdrop. First thing you'll want to do is to use applications that are already built on Layer Zero the first and largest of these applications is Stargate Finance. The website is stargate.finance, and Stargate allows you to easily transfer USDC, USDT, and ETH between various Ethereum-compatible chains. You've got Ethereum, BNB Chain, Avalanche, Matic, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Phantom. So first thing I would do, and that I have done, is make some transfers between these chains. And you probably want to do this a few times, maybe spread out over a few days to really get a history of using the Layer Zero underlying protocol. If you're interested, you could also provide liquidity for some of these tokens that would make it even more likely that you would get the airdrop. And then the next thing that you'd want to do after you've done transfers on Stargate is you want to buy some STG governance tokens. So STG is the governance token of Stargate. And then you will want to go here and actually stake them for governance. And so right now there's no financial incentive for this. You stake STG for VSTG. However, it allows you to vote on governance. And I think that because this was the first protocol built on Layer Zero, it was built by the Layer Zero team, there is a very good chance that they will want to reward people who are holding governance tokens and participating in governance. So you're going to want to buy STG, stake it. And it doesn't have to be a lot, by the way. Um, this is all speculation, but I'm doing it with a small amount personally. And then next time a proposal comes up for Stargate DAO, the most recent one ended yesterday, vote on the proposal. That way you have a history of participating in Stargate governance. You're not just using the protocol. You're not even just holding the token. You are actively participating in governance. Next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to use the Liquid Swap Bridge, which is a bridge built on Layer 0 to transfer between Ethereum and the new Aptos network. You might remember Aptos from its 
airdrop last week. So make a wallet on Aptos and then come here to bridge.liquidswap.com and you'll want to transfer a small amount of assets from Ethereum to Aptos to maximize your chance of getting the airdrop. And then the final thing that you'll want to do is go to usdcdemo.layer0.network slash bridge. And by the way, all of these links will be down in the description of this video. And then this is on testnet right now, but use this testnet layer zero application to transfer some funds between different test nets. So you've got Gorly, you've got Fuji on here, practice doing some uh, transactions on the test nets. And oftentimes these protocols will reward people that use the test net because it shows engagement in the protocol and because it actually helps them since they need the test net to see whether their protocol works in production. And that is what I am doing personally to try to qualify for the layer zero airdrop. As promised, I have a checklist I created, the Dynamo DeFi airdrop checklist that I'll link to down in the description. And here I have checklists on how to receive nine different potential airdrops. We have Arbitrum, which I did a video on just a few days ago. We have layer zero, and then we have others like ZK Sync, Quai, Sui, Rage Trade, Pixels, Sturdy Finance, and Granary Finance. So these are nine potential airdrops with more detailed threads linked with descriptions of exactly what you need to do and then with links to where you do those tasks and then a place to check it off if you print out this checklist so check it out hopefully we can get some great airdrops and then i'll also link in the description a couple threads that i used to prepare for this video because i always like to give credit that's all for today. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other tasks you're doing to qualify for a layer zero airdrop. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.